Hey there, Lacey here with the Sweet Pea Chef. And if you love bagels, I have some really good news for you. We're gonna be making a homemade bagel recipe today that is so easy and tasty. You don't have to boil it. You don't have to have it rise. You don't have to do all these crazy steps. In fact, it's just a few ingredients and it's super quick. You're gonna be done within less than 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, we're making homemade bagels. Let's get started. So start by preheating your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and lining a cookie sheet with parchment paper. In a large mixing bowl, we're gonna add some whole wheat pastry flour, followed by baking powder, sea salt, and plain Greek yogurt. Then just stir this all together using a spatula or a wooden spoon until it starts to really stick to itself and stops being so crumbly. Now we're gonna transfer this mixture onto a clean, flat surface that's been dusted with a little bit of flour. Then using your hands, we're gonna knead together the dough for about 15 to 20 times until the dough, instead of sticking to your hands, starts to stick onto back to itself. Then we're gonna divide the dough into eight equal portions. Grab one of those portions and we're gonna roll that into a long rope-like shape. It's kind of like a long fat cylinder. And then we're gonna turn that into a circle and we're gonna join those ends together to make our bagel. Then we're gonna transfer our bagels onto our prepared cookie sheet. Now I like to brush a beaten egg over the top of the bagels because not only does it make it look more vibrant and tasty when it comes out of the oven if you leave it plain, it's also gonna be a really great surface to have our topping stick to the bagels. Oh yeah, we're doing topping. So, if you love everything bagels, I have a great everything mix to share with you. So in a small mixing bowl, we're gonna combine some poppy seeds, white sesame seeds, black sesame seeds, dried minced garlic, dried onion flakes, and flake sea salt. Then just mix this all together and poof, you have everything bagel mix. I know, it's amazing, you're gonna love it. Then just sprinkle this over the top pretty liberally on whatever bagels you would like to have with the everything bagel mix. If sweets are more your thing, then you can make a cinnamon sugar topping. So in order to do that, in a small mixing bowl, just combine some coconut sugar with some ground cinnamon until it's fully mixed, and then spread that over the top of the bagel. I like to do it pretty liberally because as it grows and expands in the oven, some of it's gonna fall off, so you wanna make sure that you get it on there pretty good. Other topping ideas could be just some flake sea salt, poppy seeds, sesame seeds, or you could mix together some minced garlic with some onion flakes and sea salt. You can just play around with whatever toppings you like. That's the beauty of this, is you get to control everything. Once you have all of your toppings ready to go, you can transfer the bagels into the oven, and we're gonna bake them for about 20 to 25 minutes. Then remove them from the oven and let them sit for about five minutes on the counter before grabbing and devouring them. Did you ever think you could enjoy healthy, clean bagels and still live this clean lifestyle? It's amazing. And plus you have all the fun with the little toppings you can put on there and you can just really make it your own. For another great healthy option for something that you might not have realized you could have on a clean eating lifestyle, check out my sweet potato tortillas recipe video, which is just delicious as well. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to this channel so you don't miss our new weekly recipes because we always are going over healthy ways to enjoy tasty foods. Thanks so much, I'll see you next time.